this is going to be a problem. This is JetBlue Flight 292 inbound to LAX on September 21st, 2005. The problem, the front landing gear is deployed but stuck in a right angle to where it should be. Okay, so what should normally happen is this. The wheels are at rest before touchdown, they're not spinning. As the tires make contact with the ground, they are still skidding, but the friction quickly spins them up to the speed of the aircraft. This is still around 250 km per hour, or roughly 150 miles per hour at this point. This process takes only fractions of a second, but the aircraft will cover quite some ground in this time. While the wheels are spinning up to speed, the friction with the tarmac inflicts wear on the rubber and also generates heat. This creates, firstly, skid marks on the runway, and also the characteristic chirping noise when they touch down. Larger and heavier aircraft have more energy and thus generate more heat. That's why they don't have just bigger wheels, but many wheels. More area to dissipate the heat and spreading the wear more evenly. But back to flight 292 with the stuck landing gear. With the wheels locked in this position, they cannot spin. All they can do is take the wear and heat from the friction until eventually the rubber ignites at 400 degrees Celsius. The entire wheel, so both the rubber tires and the metal rim, are simply completely ground down, just like by a standing machine. And this was the end result. But more importantly, the plane landed somewhat well and uh, nobody was hurt and the only damage was to the landing gear. This was, without question, the most favorable outcome in this situation. Fortunately, landing gears are engineered to be able to take strain like this without breaking off. Subscribe for more physics stuff.